How are elements created? Through a process called nucleosynthesis. So what is this? Nucleosynthesis is the formation of elements that naturally occur. There are three types of nucleosynthesis, Big Bang, Stellar, and Supernova. These are all related to the formation and evolution of the universe. Let's start with Big Bang nucleosynthesis, which occurred about 13.8 billion years ago. The Big Bang is a theory which states that the universe was created from a huge explosion, so essentially there was nothing, and then boom, there was something. One minute later, hydrogen, helium, and small amounts of lithium were created. Clouds of dust and gas accumulate, which is the only matter in the universe for millions of years. Eventually, these clouds form stars. Stellar nucleosynthesis is responsible for all elements between helium and iron on the periodic table. Stellar nucleosynthesis uses fusion to create elements in the center of stars. Fusion uses extreme heat and pressure to mash smaller elements together, forming larger ones. The extremely high heat creates heavier elements. Fusion occurs inside of stars until they reach iron, which is the limit, because there are not enough neutrons in the star's cores to continue. So where did the other elements come from? Supernova nucleosynthesis During a supernova explosion, there are two things that make it possible for elements heavier than iron to be made extreme temperatures, and an abundance of neutrons. Supernova nucleosynthesis is responsible for all of the heavier, naturally occurring elements. So, this all seems very distant from humans, right? How can heavenly bodies exploding and creating elements relate to us? Why does this matter? Well, we are actually made of stardust. Don't believe me? Here's the proof. During a supernova explosion, its elements are dispersed throughout the universe, which means that all of its stardust eventually collects, creating other heavenly bodies like Earth. So some of the material that makes us up is as old as the universe itself.